Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Armin and in this video, I will explain how to calculate the sound transmission loss of a single layer glass window. There is a sound transmission loss of a concrete wall in the Comsol website. I create a simple model with fewer variables based on it, and also verified it with a laboratory test of an article. In this figure, you can see the transmission loss of a single layer glass with a thickness of 6 mm, which is an acceptable agreement with the experimental data. Okay, I think it would be better if I explain a little about the sound transmission loss in a diffuse environment. Let's get started it. We need two rooms for calculating the sound transmission loss of a window. The sound source is located in the first room. The source in a large room is a diffusive sound, because sound in a room propagates in all directions equally. The second room is the receiver room and the sound is free field, because the room is anchoic. You can see the pressure equations in the red box. These equations should be written in the Comsol variables. I write these equations in description and you can use it. The simulation is compared with this graph. This figure also shows the geometry in Comsol. Around is the geometry is PML boundary condition which is used for free field domain. I think this is enough. It is better to start modeling. This is glass of the window. And this is air. All of the air borders are used perfectly match layers. Here you can see all the parameters we need. These are dimensions of glass. These two variables are related to the diffuse field and these values are sufficient for the diffuse field. These are the parameters of the mass law equation, the formula of which will be written in the future. In variables, I've written pressure formulas, phi, theta, and phase or random incident angles and kx, chi, and kz are wave numbers in each direction. Three random functions are used in pressure formulas. I imported experimental data before. We need integration on each side of the glass. Geometry consists of two blocks, a block for glass and another for air. In size and shape, I entered glass dimensions. In air block, I entered the dimensions of the glass plus the perfectly matched layer. I think 10t is enough for layers. The location of the air is in contact with the glass in the middle of it. I created layers on the air domain because I need it for applying perfectly matched layers. The whole geometry is made of air and the glass domain is overridden by glass material. This is glass. I entered material properties according to the article. Pressure acoustic only has perfectly matched layer boundary condition. Edges of glass are fixed. Pressure is applied on the glass surface in solid mechanics physics. You can choose boundary conditions on the physics tab. Be sure to activate the coupling between solid and air. You can select it by right-clicking on Multiphysics. In Boundary Selection, select all boundaries. Coupled interfaces are selected automatically. I chose the default mesh size. By right-clicking on the definition, I select Perfect Match Layer. Now it's time to determine the frequency interval. I choose the step 1 12th octave. The calculation time with my system is over 10 hours. I already clicked on compute and I have the answer. These five results are generated by default. I need a 1D plot group to calculate sound transmission loss. You can add a 1D plot group by right-clicking on results. 
I created an octave band and a global. You can see global and octave band here. Enter parameters according to video. The answer is the octave band label, so I put it on the one third octave band. This is the mass law formula that you can see it on the description. This function is experimental data. As you see, CAMSOL results and laboratory results are in good agreement. Thank you for watching.